just shown up and tried scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> you did scare me though, to be fair, you did. So this is the house, but it is fully boarded up. We're not getting in there. We've accepted that. Oh, okay, we can go in the house. Oh, no. Pretty interesting when you find out something about the people that used to own or live in the place, especially when you find out that not only did they die here, but they're resting in peace here too. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and oh, the handle's sticky. So guys, we're at a location today. You're watching what you're after. My name is Oscar. I'm here with Matt from Abandoned Seekers. I've actually been here before. We came here to scare Nathan. I actually rode this little bike down here, but it's got sticky handles now, so my hands are all horrible. Um, we can get in the house today. We couldn't last time. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button with the bell button too. Leave a comment because we reply to all of you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to what you're after. We're with Neil and Nathan, and we've stopped off. What would you call this? Just a little quiet bit on the outskirts of Southampton. Hmm. I'm just going to scare you. I filmed it Ooh. in piece, so Nathan's here on his own. Yeah. You're going to jump out and scare him. You did scare me. You did. You honestly, you gave me a heart attack. But yeah. Go on, Oscar. Go on, mate. We have now got access into the house, so we're going to have a little look around this cool house and explore the outbuildings as well. I know there's quite a lot to see here, so let's get straight on into this explore, guys. Oscar, how about this seat for actually being able to sit on not the mouldy one in the basement of the other place? Uh, something we do now. I think it explore. could be, yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, so we'll go we'll go for the comfort factor first. So yeah. out of ten. So what would you say the comfort factor? Um factory? seven. All right. Oh no, it's gone right down to a four gone and a right half. Down. Four oh, and a half. So there's quite a bit of stuff left here. There's a lot of stuff down here as well. Interesting, interesting to find bits. <clears throat> well, there's a note here. Uh, boiled fruit cake. Instructions on how to make. Isn't there an upstairs? There is an upstairs. How the fuck do you go upstairs? This way. No. This way. Is it? Yeah. So this place has a really weird layout because you've got the bit that we came into, you've got a bit down here, I believe. Yeah, there's also an upstairs up there. This is very strange. Upstairs. So, so this upstairs. this must be a flat. Oh, so that's like an annex then. Yeah. So this is like oh, a separate okay. flat or something. Right. So mine the pane of glass on the floor. Right, and also there's those. Uh, Scripts on it for keeping carpet on. There's not many floorboards up here. So this should be its own oh self. That scared the shit out of me. <sighs> Marilyn, you just fucking scared the shit out of me, love. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, there's lots of holes in the floor, so just be careful. It's a bit dodge, isn't it? Looks like someone lived up here, there's a kitchen. Yeah, this was definitely a separate um, property. I think it was probably split into two or three. Oh my God, it's huge. Wow. What? Have a look at this. I can't remember the name. What is that? Right, guys, so in the kitchen, just found this little bag. And in here, I think it's called a totem. If anyone's ever seen the film Inception. All out, one in, all in. Oh. Do you remember Inception, the film? Yeah. So the idea was, is that I think it's called a totem. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this is a totem. You spin it. If it continues to spin and doesn't fall over, it's like checking if you're awake, if it's real or not. Okay, guys, so we're back in the living room. I think we're going to have a look around outside because I know there's a lot to see out there. There's some cool plates there. <laughs> wonder if they're all the same. Oh, no. So it's like a collection. I think they are all different. Some of them have colour, some of them, yeah, that's really cool. It's a nice yeah, little collection. Okay, so I, I remember coming here. It was the day we did um, the drug mansion and all of that at the beginning of the year. And I did think it was quite cool, but we couldn't get into the house then. And I didn't want to do it because I wanted to get in the house too. Now obviously we can get in the house and film this and 
yeah, it's definitely worth having a look. I mean, there's quite a lot of cool stuff. There's a working running machine here. So, yeah, I'm doing a bit of exercise. Oh, okay, this is an old workshop. What is that? That's very shiny. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Altoids. Originally, oh, it's empty. That's an old uh, peppermint mint tin. That's cool. So there's a lot of stuff in here. So in the farmhouse we went to recently, you had an old Singer sewing machine. You've actually got one here that's got its own full stand. That's really cool. Oh, look at the old TV. That's so cool. It's a proper retro one with like slidey buttons. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I like that. I like that in a TV. Lots of shelves, I'm guessing for pots and tools and things like that. I'm getting very webbed looking around this place, so I hope you guys are appreciating it. I'm trying not to moan too much. Okay, there's an old VHS collection there. That's cool, you don't see many of those these days. There's quite a lot of furniture dotted around as well, I've noticed. Okay. Oh wow. So this is from June the 12th, 1982. Portsmouth. 12p this paper cost. You can tell it's old just by like what the people are wearing and stuff. That's really cool. What ship is that? Oh, the QE2. QE2. It's alright, you're allowed to trip over from time to time, friend. Um, from time to time it's okay to trip over only if you can get over the fact that you have just tripped over I like it Oh my god look at this car mate the old MG Fooled ya Bastard I'm I excited then A lot to it I reckon this was a workshop Yeah definitely I think most of this place must have been like a workshop type thing It's got like a um, pulley system up on the ceiling Ah uh, yeah lifting it's stuff like up an engine out or something Oh, what is this? That's cool. This old machine, I don't know. I think it's a radio. I think it's like an old radio or something. What is that? Don't know, but it's cool. It's upside down, whatever it is. It's got Russian writing. Cool, it's in the goof. On and look at the sun. Uh, no. No, for real? For real? Yeah, for real. It won't hurt your eyes, I promise. I'll do it straight I after. look at it through. Yeah, look at the sun. Just put it on and look at the bloody I sun. Am. It's cool, you isn't it? You can actually see through it, yeah. Yeah, you can actually like look at the Hold sun. Hold it up. Phew, bit webby in it's there. Still bright. It's still bright though, even though you got that on. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to look at the sun through a welder's mask. And guys, that is what it looks like. Okay, so this is like a greenhouse room or something. Oh, that's a cute old bike. That's nice. Look at that. Oh, it's a bicycle. <laughs> I don't want it to sleep. Is that the best you can do? Pretty much. All right, my turn. Whoops. Doing anything yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Mate, I can't even ride it. <laughs> the wheels are so flat. See if you can bunny hop it over the slide. They've got... I'd say this is more of a pond than a pool. Okay, okay. How how up for a challenge are you, mate? Uh, no. No? Not walk... I know exactly what you're going to say and I'm not walking across that bloody plank. Shall I do it? Oh, no. I think... I'm, no, I was going to the pond and I was smell of... Frog spawn. Pond weed and Frog poo. spawn. Frog spawn! Tate's going to walk across it. If I remember rightly, there's a really cool pair of sunglasses in here. I was tempted, but they're a bit dutty. Make sure you go and check out and hit the subscribe button on Nathan's channel and my channel because I. Oh no, maybe I maybe I moved them last Why's time. Why has it got a here. satellite dish on the, on the roof of it? A satellite dish on the roof of the shed. Yeah, there's a satellite dish up there. That's weird. Unless it's for the house. Oh yeah. I really don't know, mate. Or something. Look hanging, at that lamp. That's really cool. Hanging basket sale. 
Oh my god, I didn't realise there was quite that many. <laughs> there is a lot If of you need baskets. a hanging basket, then come right here for hanging baskets. It's our biggest fear. We have so many, it gives us nightmares. So if you come here, please be prepared. Ah, uh, there's fucking down there. No? This okay. doesn't, oh, this might be kennels actually, because they're to let the dogs oh, out. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Or pigs, maybe. Yeah, so there would have definitely been livestock in here. Yeah, the dog with the girl. Oh, the crying. dog and the girl. Yeah. It's famous. There is quite a lot of cool stuff here, actually, isn't there? There is. This guaranteed there's some heirlooms in here. You need to be over there when you do it. It's locked. What? The window smashed. One layer. Come back. Yeah. What does. Huh? There's a plaque on the tree. A plaque on the tree? Yeah. There's a plaque on the tree. What does the loving memory of Peggy and Dennis Emmons Duke? Hey, rest in peace at your home, Moreland Farm. Pretty interesting when you find out something about the people that used to own or live in the place, especially when you find out that not only did they die here, but they're resting in peace here too. God only um, knows where. They might well, have that's been, they could have been scattered, I suppose over by that tree where well, the is. Yeah, true. So they might have been cremated and scattered there. I haven't seen anywhere obvious that it would look like someone would be buried. 